folks, John from Chitwood Family Farm. Haven't posted a video in a while, and uh, I was out here in the barn, and um, thought I'd share this one with you. So what we have here is kind of my take on a queen cell <coughs> carrying uh, warmer. So uh, this guy is made out of a toolbox that I got at the thrift store for $2. What it's got in it is this is a three and a half millimeter port um, that I actually plug 12 volt power into so I can uh, connect it and disconnect it. Um, this is an Inkbird temperature controller right here next to it. Let's me set the temp. And so I just cut a hole in there, come around. And there's the controller itself. You can see here's the connections uh, for the power coming in. And I'm going to come to this back to this guy in a second. Uh, and maybe you can hear a lamb in the background. And under this piece of foam is actually the cell holders. And down there in the bottom is the heating pad, and it's actually a heating pad from, I believe, a 3D printer. There's the temperature sensor. I kind of set that right in the middle. And here's a box I made. And underneath that is another layer of foam. Okay, so here's the important part. That heating pad, while it's rated for 12 volts, it'll pull as much amperage uh, as it can get. So all you're gonna do is pop fuses. This little guy right here is, I believe, what's called a buck. And so the power comes directly out and into that buck, and then crosses back over to this controller and I'm not going to go through the wiring because the wiring is a little bit different on these different models. Here I'll flip this over so it's right set up. There's the wiring diagram on mine. And there's how the wires go in. Anyway, long story short, this little guy um, allows you to regulate how much amperage gets pulled by this heating element. It takes this about mm, 10 minutes to get up to temperature. Um, and a couple of trial and errors on the wiring of it. But at any rate, um, this works great. The cheats that I have is that I have access to uh, a laser cutter. So this box, uh, and I'll post this all in the description, this box was cut on the laser cutter this foam, the dimensions of the foam, and all these holes, you can see where it didn't get quite down far enough and I had to tear out the bottom, but it was better than setting it on fire. But uh, this will hold a lot of queen cells. It'll keep them warm. It'll let you run your air conditioner in the summer. Uh, it may not look pretty. It maybe looks a little steampunk, but it gets the job done. So there you go. hope that gives you some information in case you want to build your own or need to work on uh, one of your own. There you go. Thanks and happy beekeeping.